we made it into this creek i am so excited about today's adventure this is 100 percent a creek fishing adventure i do not know what's going to happen and what we're going to find this is a creek that i've waded a bunch of times but look how high the water is it's four or five foot higher than it normally is so and it's not flowing so it's backed up by a beaver dam or something usually i can walk right through here right here where i'm standing it's probably it's usually two foot deep holy cow it's like five or six foot deep right there the water mate is up a lot higher than i've ever seen it something's going on downstream for sure i want to go down and check it out i've been wanting to get my kayak in there uh, i have two rods with me right here neither one of them have a lure on it why is that because i have this right here world famous world's is this maybe the world's only traveling tackle box guess who that right there is that's right mr first state fishing sent me this tackle box he did a video on it uh, if you haven't checked it out you probably need to go check it out because these are all going to be linked together so i've gotten it he sent it to me to uh, make a video on and i was like yes i would love to it sounds really fun i've loved i've been watching his channel for a long time dude's doing awesome traveling all over the place so let's get into what he sent me um i don't even know what's in here i watched the video but i can't remember what all he put in there it's been at least a couple weeks and it's finally a nice day to get out here so we're gonna get in we're gonna see what's in here then i'm gonna tie something on and then we're gonna go explore hopefully find a fish if not we're definitely gonna explore some stuff oh look at that awesome plano box hey right, it's got little pockets up here oh wow oh that's disappointing nothing in there all right let's see what we got in here oh okay Oh, it comes with a little plastic kit in there. Big jerk bait, little bobber. Oh, I did bring my light uh, rod, so those might be work. A little rooster tail, some little jig heads, little weights. And I'm about to run into a tree. Hold on, let me get out of this tree here. Dude, I cannot believe the water is up this high. Usually the bank is right there where that tree is. It goes all the way over there. But anyways, what else we got? rage tail crawls that might be something we use some zoom flukes hey i like a stick bait strike king and more rage tail crawls Ooh, which one should i start with all right we're putting something on here i'm going with that well maybe a crawl i don't know i'm not sure what the, we're gonna find okay we're going with the crawl this pack ain't open yet watermelon red flake um, I have some jig heads, so I brought some jig heads. I'm gonna tie this on, and then I'm gonna tie on one of these little guys uh, with my ultralight rod. Oh yeah. Okay, we got the crawl on a medium rod, and little white grub on the light ultralight or light action. And I might start with it, just start casting it, because our uh, little main goal is just to get to the end to see what's going on. If it's a beaver dam at the end that's blocked it up or or what, but. I don't even know how far we can go. We might not be, be able to go far enough to find out. Fish, fish on, fish on. <laughs> no, I lost it. It was a little, a little bit large mouth. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna get some fish. He was on a little on the little grub. The water was really clear. I, I was seeing it fight. I dropped it to the bottom and he hit it. So it's so weird going through here in all these trees. It's just like I'm in a obviously like a flooded or a swamp area, but this creek just I've never seen it like this before. Yes. Oh, that's my first red breast this year. I watched him, I reeled it up, I watched him follow, I just paused it, and he hit it. Dude, this, I, that was like, we're like five minutes of, into fishing. Lost a little bass, got a red breast. Dude, that's cool. It's currently like barely moving, like, which is good because I got a paddle back upstream. I guess I should have put my pedal drive in. I didn't even put it in because I didn't, I didn't know what it was going to be like. But if the current's real calm, it's pretty easy to get back up. I just don't know how far I'm gonna go today. Ooh. 
There it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> nice little bass. Dude, how, how am I going to put down this little white lure? I'm getting hits like crazy. A little white grub killed him in this clear water. A little large mouth. I got a nice stripe on him. And he's fat. What does he got? I don't see nothing coming out. But he's, he's been, he just ate something. You can see. He got a big old iron on his belly. Let's see. Somebody else is kayaking in this area. Somebody else must have had the same idea I had. There's a fishing line. Which people do. Oh, another fish. Oh yeah, another red breast. People um, do fish this area. I didn't know if anybody had been kayaking it because the water's up and it's early in the year. Usually I wouldn't hit this creek till later, but I thought with a few warm days we've had, maybe some fish are gonna get it active. And they are way more active than I thought. I have a feeling we're just gonna catch a ton of fish. It's already been pretty good. Oh my goodness, they're smoking this thing. Next, they are smoking this lure. Okay, I will throw a bigger lure in a little bit. In a little bit. This is too fun. A little large mouth. What is that? Uh, bluegill. Okay, we've got red breast, large mouth, and now bluegill. My goal is to be the the most species count of any of these videos. That's, that's what I'm trying to do here. Just kidding. I don't know. Somebody might get it in uh, Florida or something and catch just all kinds of stuff. But it's definitely, I'm definitely excited to see um, the person I'm going to send the box to, see what they can do with it. And we're going to, the, the, the goal is to just keep this thing going and see how far, how many different people get it, um, like how many different YouTubers use it, uh, how many different places is it going to go out of the country um is it going to get used for salt water is it going to get used up north um the kid from delaware fished it in florida and oh something shit right there and um he caught some some florida bass so now i've caught well i guess whatever i've caught is just the northern strain bass and bluegill and red breast but the next person that gets it might live somewhere totally different. And you gotta stay to the end. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of fish fell away. Stay to the end of the video, and I'm going to um, announce who's getting the box. And also, probably gonna throw a couple of my own lures in there. So I'll come up with a couple of things I think need to add to it, and then we'll send it to somebody else. But we got a lot more fishing to do, and I'm, dude, this has been exciting. I've, we've been out here less than 30 minutes. This is, this is way better than I thought it was going to go. Oh, find a little bluegill. All right, one more bass. I want to switch. I need a bass. Oh, what is that? Oh, what was that? I don't even know what that thing was. It was pretty strong, though. Oh, trees are getting thicker down here. The camera's going to get hit. Whoa, thought that was a pass at first. Okay, we're gonna switch. It's a, uh, a big red breast, kind of pale. We, we definitely can go back to that, but nice, oh, thick red breast. These fish are really healthy in here, so they got whatever's going on, they got plenty of food. I don't hear like any water flowing or anything up there, so I don't know how far we gotta go to find this, wherever the, the dam on it is. But let's go to a bass lure. Might take a little longer to get something. It might get something right away. But I got, uh, I think it's a 1 8 uh, ounce jig head on that crawl. And with this clear water, they're gonna see this thing easy. We also have that white fluke we can go to. So we'll try, we'll start with the crawl, sink it down in there. I think these fish, might, the bigger ones are gonna be on the bottom.
Well, this is uh, interesting. Didn't go too far and then I found the blockage. You can see all this stuff where it's just sitting there, but you can tell there's a blockage right over there. I hear the water flowing. I kind of wanted to go over there. I might try walking over there, see how the water's going around. And it looks like there's a creek channel over there. And, uh, but there's the water is being diverted around through the fields uh, to get back to the channel. I hear some water flowing. I, I thought I was gonna be able to go like right to it, but I might try to get out of the kayak and go over there. It was kind of, it'd be kind of hard to get out of the kayak. Oh, this looks like a good spot to get out. And I got my water shoes on anyways, so. I'm gonna go explore a little bit. I'll take the other camera with me. Oh, I see some water. Okay. Oh, I might be able to fish down there. There's the, oh, there's the water. There's the main blockage. So it doesn't look like a beaver dam. Looks like just natural blocking. That's wild. Look how the water is. That's crazy looking. It looks like there's a bend right here in the creek. And some big old trees are going across it. And they just block everything up. A little at a time. That, that water level is at the top of that. It's 8 foot higher than right there. Maybe 10 foot. Maybe more than that. Oh, there's got to be something stacked up below the spillway. Got a lot of different waters. I gotta make sure I don't fall in from a, what's it called? Like mudslide or something, cause there's a lot of water running through here. We got a nice little deep pool. I'm gonna get on the other side of that so I can fish over there. Well, I'm surprised how this turned out and I'm more interested in going downstream now. I've I've come, from, this, this goes into the uh, river. I've actually come up the creek quite a ways and now I've gone down the creek. I've never gone all the way through. So there's a little section through there that I've never been through. I thought that today that I would find the fish like below the spillway. I thought they'd be coming up the creek and be like stacked up below the deep part. Instead, there was a bunch of fish on the upper part. so. We're gonna go back in and go back upstream. I'm gonna fish the little uh, lure, but I think we'll find some bigger bass. Maybe they're further up the creek. I got a fish on here. I dropped my lure trying to do something. All right, I just dropped it and I was trying to cut that line over here on the side, pick it up, there's a fish. I threw the um, the yellow or the greenish looking uh, little curly tail for quite a while, didn't get a bite. Go back to the white one, I get a bite. Another red breast. There we go. Oh. Hey, I got one on the crawl. Finally got a hit on the crawl. I haven't been throwing it the whole time, but I've thrown it enough to thought I would get a few more hits. And it's a little bass. I've got bigger one on that white thing. So I'm gonna throw the crawl just a little bit more, a little large mouth. And then I'm gonna switch to that white flute. Cause I, I wonder if that, I think that white, that white grub was killing it. I wonder if it's something to do with that white. All right, I'm, I'm at the bridge. I'm gonna try to get underneath it. I'm gonna have to take my camera down to get up the screen. That white is killing it though. I just, I went the first cast with that white under the bridge. And they're, they're just, those fish are keyed in. There may not be, you know, maybe mostly sunfish and maybe the bigger fish, but I'm um, hoping I'm gonna switch to the white fluke. All right, I got, just got it weightless. So I'm gonna do it right now. Nope. Line looks all right. 
Um, we're gonna work our way up the creek. Pretty sure the creek at some point up here just goes back to normal where it's not the flooded area, but I don't know how far. I hope this white really triggers something. Well, oh, oh, oh my. That was wild. I just saw, I looked over and saw the bass come up and get my lure. I think the white is gonna trigger something. Man, it's amazing when you find out a color makes such a difference sometimes. Didn't want the crawl. I think it was the color. If I had a white crawl, they probably would hit it, but there's, the white is definitely nailing it. Little guy. Uh, I may be like the second cast on that fluke. That's a solid fish. Yes. Oh, he hammered that. I felt it. That's what we're looking for. Dude, they're in here and they're hitting. I did not think they'd be eating like this. That's a good bass right there. The creek bass are out. I mean, it's not a giant. These aren't giants, but when you're going to a little creek on the side of the road in, in between a bunch of farms and stuff and you're just kayaking it and just can catch a bass like that, that's awesome. Like a pound and a quarter. <laughs> I remember, like there's a lot of stuff in this creek I remember from when the water was low. I guess that's how it um, helps to catch things like in lakes when you know where there's certain areas are. There's like a ditch that, or a little tunnel that came in over there. And I remember it and I was like, I'm gonna cast over there. Boom, sure enough there was a fish sitting there and biggest one of the day. Here we go. Good one. Oh, that was about a two pounder. I didn't get him hooked good. This section through here is um is used when the water's regular. It's just like a um shoals and like rapids. There's just there's big rocks and it's just kind of rapids and just falls. There's a lot of stuff around here for fish to be hiding at. And I I would, used to wade this area or and I'd walk through here knee deep water casting over here on this bank catching fish. So those fish can be all out, but that was like a that was like a two pounder. That was a good fish. Wish I'd have got him in. Go back through here. I'm not gonna go up any further. Okay, it's time. One last change. Last time I'm gonna use anything out of here. What do I wanna throw? Strike King shimmy stick and baby bass. And we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna cut it down to a little three inch or so Ned rig. Ah, well, I just broke off the Ned rig. I didn't get me anything. But I can't end this video off without catching at least one more. So you know what? Let's just toss around this fish slaying lure. I guarantee you I will catch one Pretty quick. Got it. Missed it, then I got it. That a, oh, that's a nice bluegill. That's a good way to end the, <laughs> end the video out today. And we're almost back to the bridge. So we're about to take the kayak out. Oh, stop. Well, the white grubs got it done. White was definitely a key. And um, of course, it's still early in the year and I was just excited to see several species being active. I didn't know if they was gonna be active or not. And I got a whole area I can kayak now. So let me go, let this guy go. 
All right, thanks so much for watching, but you wanna see this part because I got the uh, box back there and I'm about to tell you who I'm sending it to and I'm gonna throw a couple lures in there after today's sponsor. Okay, it's time for me to send this box on its way on to its next owner for another video before it travels on someone else. Um, first off, let me add a couple things. So I picked out two things that I need, think it needs to have. Of course, it doesn't have a lot in there and I'm the second person to get it. So I don't wanna add too many things, but there's no crankbait. I gotta add this. This is, this is one of my favorite crankbaits, flat A. And uh, I gotta add a Nico Helgermite. So just a pack of original Nico Helgermites. It's already got some soft plastics in there. So I'll throw those things in there and it's pretty organized i only used a couple lures lost a couple so you still got some stuff in there close it up oh i gotta sign it there we go i had to go right in the middle there ah it's a little sloppy but it can't be perfect so here we go i'm gonna send this box on to a channel that I really like. Um, I started following them as soon as they started making videos. They're very exciting when they're fishing and it is Cole and Jay and Little Baby Cypress. I think they're down in Arkansas. So I'm gonna package this up and send it on to them. Hopefully they'll be able to make a video on it and hopefully they'll be able to catch some fish. But whatever they do with it, it'll be exciting because they, they, uh, they have a fun time and they're very exciting people to watch. So if you don't know who Cole and Jay are, um, go check out their channel and be looking forward to this next video. If you haven't checked out First Day Fishing, if you don't know who that is, you definitely gotta go watch his video first, then then you know what's going on, and then you can go watch Cole and Jay, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I had a great time fishing with the traveling tackle box, and hope the next person does too. Thanks so much for watching.